Moon clearly a shows... dream world! I heard that Penicone transformed the dreamscape into a majestic metropolis. Fancy a dreamscape what exactly would that look like? Oh, I can't wait! Our rooms are down this way. This is a long hallway. Is it just me, or is this hotel too big for its own good? Quit giving me the stink eye! We're finally here. Let's all head to our rooms first and put down our bags. Well, how about a drink first? Penicone's Soul Glad is very famous. Go on. We may be thinking of the same thing. Do you remember the invite that the Express received? The family's esteemed guests are cordially invited to Benaconi to participate in our grand celebration. That's why we're here in the first place. You recall correctly, but there was more to this invite. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penicone, and thus the answer to the question, why does life slumber? <laughs> I don't remember that part of the invite. You mean there was a, a hidden message? This is the part that intrigues me. The invite sent by the family was nothing more than a music box that, when wound, would play an accompanying tune. But the box that was sent to us was slightly... unusual. The music it played had off-key notes in the background. I recorded these dissonant notes, and they were a perfect match with the gravity wave frequency when the Express made its warp jump. Also, the Express engine's spatial curvature was its encryption key. A distress call method regularly used by the Nameless. I can't be certain. It may be a masked fool's trap. From the execution itself, the Riddlers or Inquisition spirits could have done this themselves. When did you discover this? When we were handling that Law Fu Stellaron matter. I told Pom Pom about it first thing. It's no wonder that IPC Ambassador also mentioned this watchmaker. The invite he received must also have contained a hidden message, and it seems like he decoded it. There's something else on my mind. When the invite was brought up, that family leader mentioned being one of the actual administrators of Penacone, and that it was their duty to relieve us of any problems. In hindsight, there was more to that statement. He also had Miss Robin with him. I'm no singer, but her voice sounded a little strange. Would a singer really take to the stage if their voice wasn't in top shape? Are you saying you suspect that the family did not send the invite and is hiding something from us? It's possible. The fact that the family sent out invites to the other factions is already unusual, and your discovery confirms that there could be a third party involved. I take back what I said. This event is becoming more interesting with each passing second. Why didn't you tell the others? We shouldn't interfere if this is just an internal affair of Penicone or the family. But you said so yourself. 
This could concern the Trailblaze. Well, I did. Which is why... Before we set off, I told March 7th and Don Hung about this. <laughs> so, I was the only one kept in the dark then. Who sent the invite? What is the purpose of gathering all of the factions into Penacony? And why does the family choose to remain silent about their knowledge of this? Uh, there are too many unanswered questions. We must use the utmost caution before we go deeper. Right now, let's just focus on the Conductor's request. We'll collect intel while enjoying this wonderful vacation. Penacony is, after all, a famed resort of the cosmos. Not many get a chance to even visit in their lifetime. Head back to your rooms, get some rest, and prepare to enter the dreamscape. It's time to head back to my room. Before entering the dream, I should probably talk to the rest. The decor in here is a little, uh, <laughs> loud for my taste. So this is how Astral High Society does things, huh? <laughs> they say he's a historically important figure in Penacone, and tales of his life have been handed down over generations. Such tales encourage believers to come to the planet of festivities to pursue their dreams. He's an interesting fellow, that's for sure, and his legacy still has the power to draw people in. But how and why he's involved with that invite, and why his name popped up in the encrypted message allegedly sent by a nameless, I've got no leads for now. The family believes in the harmony, and their altruism is well known across the stars, a trait that is intimately tied to Panacone's stability and prosperity. But some factions have always been wary of the family, uh, suspecting that their benevolence and eloquence belie an ulterior motive. So far, it seems to me that the family treats their guests with courtesy, so I don't think we need to worry about that for now. The Dream Panacone is divided into 12 moments. Personally, I'm interested in the moment of soul. It's a visual dreamscape steeped in Penacone's history and civilization. Penacone's Grand Museum, the Primal Waking Library, the Paperfold Academy. The pasts that we chase may be stored in these places. Uh, past the guest room's dream pool is the real Penacone. Let's get ready to move out. <laughs> Pleasant dreams. <laughs> What's wrong? Not turning in? Can't find your room? Or... Do you have something on your mind? One can't discuss the planet of festivities without mentioning the watchmaker. Penacone's household name and figure. Fortune. Fame. Status. He built everyone's futures with his bare hands. And became the symbol of dreams. But the veracity of these stories remains untraceable. Many have their own opinions on the Watchmaker's origin and past. And there are even some who suspect he's a conceptual construct of the family. For now, I do not think this invite is linked to the Watchmaker. His legacy... It sounds more like a marketing hook to drum up more traffic, if nothing else. Uh, an IPC ambassador who knows more than he lets on. A silver-tongued businessman. A flamboyant and debonair aristocrat. He could be all of them. My instincts tell me he's much more than meets the eye. Before the dust settles, we should maintain amicable relations with all camps. While keeping our guards up. The Dream Penacone is divided into 12 individual dreamscapes. 
I've heard that the destinations vary for different people when they first enter the dream. As for me, I look forward to the moment of scorch sand. Its wild winds, taverns, and festive choices have more of a nameless trailblaze vibe. The moment of morning dew is also a decent choice. I can use that chance to visit the family. Uh, you must be exhausted from everything that's happened so far. Even if you're trailblazing, you mustn't forget to relax. Good night, and sweet dreams. Where's March 7th? Has she returned to her room already? I'm sure I put it in my pocket. Odd. Why is my room door open? Hmm? He's... How fortuitous. <laughs> we meet again. <laughs> That's right, pal. <laughs> Calm down. I'm just here to soak in the festive vibe. This may be your room now, but half a system hour ago, it was still mine. A lucky block number, a lucky floor, a lucky room number. You have no idea how much I went through to book this precious space. And now I've given it to you. Treasure it well, friend. No, no. I only let you have my room. Pentagoni's a true blue land of dreams. How many across the stars would spend half their lives just to acquire an admission ticket into the Reverie? <laughs> Think about the type of people who can even afford to stay here. If it wasn't for my brilliant plan, you think the family would offend those bigwigs just to sate the paltry whims of an unsought guest such as yourself? So sit down and let's have a chat. With everything said and done, I think I deserve at least this much, right? Wrong. You're the one I seek. Simply put, my friend, I need your help. You may or may not know this, but Panacone's far murkier than it seems. The family's eyes are everywhere, but you get the drift. My goal is simple. Help the IPC retrieve some things that belong to them in the first place. If you agree, when this is done, you will stand to reap great rewards, as well as the preservation's protection. It's clear you're not just one of the crowd. You possess a distinct quality, so magnetic that it could sway the outcome of any game. That power, you really don't wish to use it. Or, you don't want to be rid of it. Why not use it to etch your name across the stars? The power that men both fear and desire is right in the palms of your hands. <laughs> Mr. Stellaron, have I hit the nail on the head? <laughs> I know now. You don't have to answer me now. Sit on it for a while. When the time is right, I will look for you again. 
Of course, you can confer with your colleagues as well. Or go as far as to use me in turn. I welcome that notion. Because it will also show me your true value. I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end. So I hope that friends don't let me down. Hmm. <laughs> Very well. Oh yes, before I go, let's play another game. A simple game to get to know each other better. You just have to guess which hand the chip is hiding in. It'll help me get a better grasp on your personality and the way you do things. Left or right? Get ready. I'm about to reveal the answer. No? I didn't get your answer. Oh, but that's fine, because... Friend, the game has already begun. Allow me to make you an offer. One you can't refuse. No reason to choose otherwise. No other choice. Hello there. Huh? What are you doing in my room? Your room? <laughs> well played, friend. You haven't been in Panacone long, but you already know how to rope people into your cause. Oh, don't misunderstand. That was a mere reminder. This place runs deep with plenty of unsavory characters. Don't forget to stay on your toes. Like, keeping your door closed. <laughs> I'll make my exit now. Have a pleasant stay. <laughs> Why haven't you left? This is my room. <laughs> I was just teasing. Please forgive me. This is indeed your room. I saw that man snooping about while I was in the hallway. It didn't seem like he was searching for his own room, so it made me wary. I later saw you walking into the same room, so I began to connect the dots. The situation got a bit tense. I hope you don't mind that I pulled this stunt. Anyway, as long as you're alright. I should return to my room, too. But before I go, can I ask you a question? You may think it somewhat strange, perhaps even rude. But I wish to know. Have we met somewhere before? Yes. It was a dream. I had a dream on my way here, and I think you were in it. Blink of a thought in my head. This is your name, isn't it? Pleased to meet you. <laughs> you forget. That man mentioned it before he left. My memory's not very good, but it's not so bad that I can't remember details from just minutes ago. Galaxy Ranger Acheron. This is what they call me. You can call me whatever you want. I doubt we'll meet again. Lastly, a gentle reminder. There are people who possess unwavering resolution and faith, even unto death, and they do not wield such conviction for good. And on that man's face, I see such a similar expression. One who wears a blade must use it to cut, eventually. And when a gambler has nothing to lose on the table, he will surely go for broke and bet it all on a final hand. That is all I can say. I thought you should know all this before making a choice. Goodbye. Acheron left. Strange. 
I can't shake off this odd feeling I have. Uh, forget it. It's taken a while, but at least I can finally enter the dream. Hmm? Hmm. Sorry, can you point me in the direction of the lobby? All these hallways really look the same to me. Seems like it's over. <sighs> Time to work the dream pool according to the Dreamscape Pass's instructions. Welcome to Pinaconi, honored guest. Please relax. Feel the ebb and flow of your body. Just focus on breathing and imagine you're in paradise. Imagine a dreamland. <laughs> What is it, Ratio? Why the long face? Hey, I just realized. Where's that handsome bust of yours? You're late. By four minutes and sixteen seconds. You better have solved the mystery of Akavili's fall. Otherwise, I suggest not tangling with the nameless. <laughs> you mean you don't believe me when I say I truly wish to befriend them? Clamorous people do not make friends. Fun fact, the Atini Peacock boasts one of the universe's more jarring songs, and your choice of attire is somewhat peacock-esque. <laughs> it seems this peacock is short of a feather or two. The family's been rummaging through your things, haven't they? Yeah, by that gray-suited fellow. All the cash gifts and the box containing the cornerstones. Huh? Where are you going? Back home. To tell the corporation that some idiot ruined everything. <laughs> it's nothing more than a few rocks. Why so serious? <laughs> Who cares if they're gone? Without that aventurine stone, you're nothing more than a doomed Sigonian thrall, sentenced to die by the IPC. Or is that serial number on your neck a cherished memento from the Amber Lord? <laughs> you're funny, I'll give you that. It appears our erudite friend has done his homework. It's my job. How would a gambler wrest Panacone back from the IPC otherwise? <laughs> Don't worry, Doctor. I have my ways. The family fears interference from the IPC, hence their constant intervention. More to play devil's advocate, perhaps Panacone might have always been a ruse under the guise of the Harmony. If you ask me, that invite is nothing but a self-planted diversion. A red herring. Or... Maybe they're thinking of pulling off something big during the Charmony Festival. Or someone else made the invite, and they acquiesced to elevating the magnitude of the plan. <laughs> well, regardless, be it the family or the Watchmaker's legacy, as long as they're all useful to me. Get to the point. What's your plan? <laughs> well, no need to expand on that now. It 
It's not yet time to reveal my trump card. <laughs> Damned gambler. Any true collaboration demands trust. Did that notion somehow escape your Sagonian upbringing? <laughs> then, do you trust me? That depends on you. Hmm, so you don't trust me either. Now that was easy, wasn't it? Also, I didn't go to school, and my parents didn't teach me any of that. A pity. They left before they could impart any life lessons. Uh, I did not mean to offend. None taken. But they did teach me that friends are weapons of the Avgens. Even under the watchful eye of the Harmony, our friends' performances have far exceeded my expectations. Let's see. The Garden of Recollection and the Astral Express have already made contact. The Annihilation Gang... I can't really count on them. The Knights of Beauty haven't given their answer. And as for the bunch at the tavern... Speaking of which, I ran into a woman just now who introduced herself as a Galaxy Ranger. The whole conversation felt... off. Help me look into her... Huh? <laughs> oh, you don't really disdain me that much, do you? Well, seems like I'm on my own again. So this is... the dreamscape? The atmosphere here creeps me out, and... What was that weird noise just now? The Dreamscape Hotel, under construction. Please, receive instructions from the Ho service, aft, and enter the, through the designated. A uh, note? This way! Can you see me? Over here! Please, come this way! I thought I heard a familiar voice. I is it coming from the painting? Ah, <sighs> you're here. Wonderful! Oh, I... I thought you wouldn't notice me. Welcome to the Gallery of Thoughts. You can think of this as the entrance to the Golden Hour. I'm here to provide guidance to our guests. Huh? You remember me? I'm so glad. This is a temporary interchange, so it looks a little rundown. The Reverie in the Dreamscape is currently undergoing a revamp. I apologize for any unpleasantness in your stay. But if you enter the Golden Hour, I'm sure all your troubles will dissipate in an instant. Oh, you're asking about the Reverie in the Dreamscape, right? I'm not sure exactly either. I'm sorry. You've perhaps read about it in your Dreamscape past, but I could explain it one more time. Golden Hour is one of the Twelve Dreamscapes in Penacony, and its time coincides with midnight. Here, the dream's time is forever stuck in the moment before midnight. Tomorrow will not come, and this night of revelry will never end. Uh, but that doesn't mean that time is stopped in the dream. To avoid any physical or mental burden on guests, time in the dream has been synced with realities. So don't worry. Note? Did you find it in the room? Uh, it wasn't trash left behind by the previous guest, was it? It was my mistake. I failed to tidy up properly and caused an inconvenience for you. I'm truly sorry. You just go right through that door to reach Golden Hour. I wish you an unforgettable dream. 
Behind this door is the real Venaconi. I'm looking forward to it. after all. <laughs> Seems like our guest here hasn't gotten used to the transition. Fret not. Feeling a sense of weightlessness is normal for new visitors. Robin, please guide our friend in getting more comfortable with the new environment. Leave it to me. Don't worry, just relax. You'll be feeling like your normal self in no time. Inhale. Now exhale. You should be feeling fully in control now. <laughs> Welcome to Penacony. It was a song with a harmonic tune. Relax. Just did some tuning on you with the resonance of the harmony to allow you to control your limbs freely in the dreamscape. Essentially, the dream of Penacony is a world formed by memoria. Only by fully understanding its nature can you move freely within it. It's like learning to swim. It's easy to sink at first when you aren't accustomed to the water, but once you get the hang of it, you can float and swim on the surface effortlessly. Indeed. But still, we don't really have an in-depth understanding of the memoria. Unless you're one of the memo keepers of the Garden of Recollection, it can be difficult at first to manipulate the memoria as you wish. But once you've been tuned by the harmony, you can use the same laws of physics from the real world to understand how the dream world works. Oh, oops. <laughs> I've fallen into my professional habits again. I just can't seem to shake off this urge to be a know-it-all. <laughs> Don't mind him. He's always like that. Please, enjoy the beautiful dreamscape the family has built for everyone. We shall take our leave. Have a blast! 